Firewatch 2024, the line fire started one week ago in Highland in San Bernardino County. It's now burned more than 37,000 acres and is a little over 20% contained. We begin coverage right now with News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura live in the San Bernardino Mountains at Butler Peak near Big Bear Lake with a look at how cooler weather today actually prevented some firefighting efforts. Bianca, as you begin, we're also looking at images of this firefight that is still so intense tonight. Good evening, John. That's right. Those flames continue to grow like we've been seeing these past few days here with the line fire. Right now, I'm on the northeastern edge as we are tracking a forward spread of those flames. If you take a look right behind me, you can see that one of those ridges is on fire again as those flames continue a forward spread. We're just two miles out from Big Bear, and of course, fire crews are prioritizing residents in their homes. And today, I had the chance to speak with a fire behavior analyst who told me that this cooling trend actually made it more difficult for fire crews in the air. Take a look. San Bernardino's Air Base, also known as one of the largest air tanker bases in the country, is equipping aircraft to combat three growing wildfires burning throughout Southern California. They're big aircraft. How on earth they can fly up in those canyons and fight this thing is, I have no idea. Although the region is experiencing a cooling trend, fire behavior analyst Brian Newman explains that Thursday's cooler temperatures have created more smoke, causing limitations for air tankers. It's not burning as hot, so it's not burning as complete, and so it's creating more smoke. And as that smoke lifts into the air, especially colder air that we're having, it doesn't lift up and, ex and uh, go out and away from the area. Difficulties in clearing the smoke, making it harder for aircraft to take to the skies. It really narrows that window of the availability of time for the aircraft to fly during the day. All of the air tankers at the San Bernardino Air Base are being loaded with retardant, one of the most effective suppressants on the fire line. This BAE 146 carries 3,000 gallons of retardant that's dropped onto the fire lines by the valves that you see below the aircraft. Joe Waddles, captain of Tanker 41, worked primarily on the bridge fire Thursday and agreed conditions surrounding the line fire were not favorable. It's really smoky over there. When the conditions get too bad and it's unsafe to continue operations, we won't fly. There's a lot of work to be done out there. As you can see, there's a lot of areas where we just don't have the control lines yet. As more than 100,000 acres continue to burn across Southern California, fire crews are sharing their aerial resources, prioritizing the safety of nearby residents and their homes. And right now you're getting a picture of those flames that are burning on the other side of the canyon. They're approximately 30 to 40 feet high. And again, the flames here from the line fire continue to grow day after day. And crews are working to increase their containment. Today on the fire scene, however, helicopters were still in use. And they were dropping thousands of gallons of water over the flames like the ones that you can see pictured right here. And also that fire behavior analyst that I spoke with tells me that he he anticipates that fire crews will be out on the line fire for approximately 10 days at minimum as they work to try to extinguish the flames. I'm live here near Big Bear, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3.